councillor are also available. The women participate in programs which are directed at various needs, including self-esteem and cultural identity. Let me read a quote for you from someone who was a resident at Te Whare i Ngātore. Prior to moving into the whare, she completed our social detox program. Te Whare i Ngātore was amazing. I had my own room for the first time in years and my own bathroom. I was in awe. Having downtime to myself in a safe place was what I needed to reflect on my life, to learn to love myself and respect myself. This lady is now in permanent housing. An inspirational outcome of these two stories is that the residents accompanied by some of the staff of Te Whare i are now one of the two groups who prepare, cook and serve meals at the women's dinner on Tuesday. One of the residents of the whare commented to me, Fire, I love helping at the dinner. It is a way for me to give back. And now to my final story. The two programs you have heard about are overseen by a recently appointed General Manager Māori with the title Manutia. The role, her role, will provide strategic and operational direction for implementing the Māori as partner responsibilities inherent in the Treaty of Waitangi. The other partner, of course, is the Auckland City Mission Board, the Missioner, or Manutaki, and the Senior Leadership Team. Assisting and supporting the General Manager Māori is a Senior Māori Caucus. I am a member of the Senior Māori Caucus. We work as a collective to turn our aspirations of partnership into action. Auckland City Mission to Tāpia Te Whai is, I think, iconic. It is a symbol of perseverance, persistence and excellence in the sphere of addressing homelessness and food insecurity. It is also innovative and creative. The Wahine dinner was one of a kind when it began and Te Whareihi Ngātore the only one of its kind in the country. To fully appreciate the importance of my three stories, we should look at the values which guide Auckland City Mission. Manakitanga, a behaviour that acknowledges the mana of others through, ex through, through the expression of aroha, hospitality, generosity and mutual respect. Manatika, justice, committed to equity and seeking dignity for all. We will fearlessly advocate with and for those who are going with our Rangapū, partnership. The Auckland City Mission recognises the principle of partnership within Te Tiriti or Waitangi. Partnership is characterised by mutual trust, integrity, respect, transparency and commitment. The three stories I have shared today are the values of Auckland City Mission in action. So, those are my stories and it is time for me to close. Will we be successful in forging a genuine partnership to implement Te Tiriti or Waitangi? I say yes, yes, yes. We've got this. Kia ora.